Hey everybody, Donald with Top of Automotive and this is a, another tool haul, short one, but tool haul. Stay tuned. Alrighty everybody, this here is an unboxing of a electronic device that I needed for the garage shop for doing live streams, uh, going on the internet and uh, checking out some stuff as far as specs or codes or whatever I need to do on customers vehicles. Uh, it's a Samsung Chromebook 11.5. The only thing I've done was just kind of unsealed this and I side it up. I need to do a do an unboxing. As I said, it's a Samsung Chromebook 3. Uh, nothing too fancy, but it will do the job that I need to do. So here's here's what we get. On the unboxing part of it real quick like got your power cord did a little research on these and these uh, cords are real nice it only has one uh, converter it's right on the end of the plug it's not a, a plug something in the center and more cord it's kind of all one piece so this is kind of nice Charging tip on it. That's that. Uh, little box. That kind. Just set that right over there for now. This is the new series. Put that down there. We've got a uh, quick startup guide on the bottom. All kind of information. Go to that shortly. Uh, this is just going to be a quick, uh, quick kind of unboxing, and yeah, I'm gonna use that. Do that. There's the. That's what you get. Plus the Chromebook. That's the box. Set that aside momentarily. Package drill nice. Uh, these ain't nothing too flat, new, too fancy. Ain't got a lot of flare. Ain't got a lot of bling. Uh, this is your basic uh, Chromebook for your basic uh, web searching and stuff like that. My fingerprints on it already. Uh, so there it is. It's got this little ash gray finish to it. USB uh, headphones. Uh, USB and HMDI. A card slot, and that's your power port there. Well, it feels like a piece of electronics, you know. Take a look on the inside. So, keys feels like a keyboard, you know. There's a not a Windows key on it, not a win, you know, not a Windows key. This is a Chromebook, guys. Mouse pad. I don't know how the, this is going to hold up, but we'll find out. If not, I can get a plug-in mouse for it. A little micro mini one. Intel inside. 
So that's uh, that's it for now. Uh, this is the unboxing part of the portion of the video. And that's it. No thrills. Uh, I did get a sleeve for it. You know? Put in there, kind of protect it. Paperwork or whatever you have in there. So I got that for it as well for now. So let me get this thing all set up. Uh, yeah. So we'll be back. Stay tuned. I'll let you know how it goes. You know, got to type in all kind of uh, information in there, uh, personal information. So I'm not going to film that. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, a little bit more about the Chromebook, uh, how I'm going to have it set up and stuff like that. But the other thing I got, go ahead and put my my glasses on here, and we're going to need a need a cutting tool here of some sort. Get in there. Sorry about that. Maybe just some good old scissors here. Do it. Uh, good old prime, of course. Get her open up. Uh, kind of got. Uh, hey, empty bag. No, uh, just kidding. I got a pair of the, get the bag off of it, it's the Kinepix snap ring pliers, 40 to 100 millimeters, made in Germany, Kinepix 4611J3, Definitely needed a uh, good pair of these, and definitely going to be uh, using these in the future because I think you got a problem. And I'm going to need a good pair of snap rings, like I said. I had made a, a DIY pair, but I went ahead and uh, got Knipix. I'm kind of staying on the on the Knepix brand. I know there's probably cheaper brands that do the same job, but not saying that uh, Knepix is the best. But this is what kind of brand I'm staying with. Everybody's got their brands. Uh, me, Craftsman, Harbor Freight. Here's a, a look at the Knipix snap ring pliers. And uh, yeah, let me uh, let me do the next thing here. So stay tuned. All right, guys, this is my start off on my Knipix tool collection if you want to call it that uh, my brand next to Craftsman and Harbor Freight I got the new snap ring pliers the bolt cutters the side cutters two of the Cobra pliers slip joint I guess you can call them slip joint uh, they're not slip joint but they're the alligators so that's my that's my Knipix so far uh, I'm gonna order some new stuff maybe get a new get a new uh, a new kind once a month 
besides the Craftsman pliers because these are uh, a little pricey but it is what it is that's my collection so let me uh, get back to the to the laptop show you how I got that set up and uh, end the video so stay tuned Alright guys, so this is my current setup when I do live streams. My uh, current dead laptop is right there for now. I got it snucked up under there. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But my new Samsung Chromebook 3. I've had it for a few days. Just getting used to the Chromebook OS system it's a little different from a laptop your windows I was kinda of getting used to that like I said when I'm in a, I did a live stream and I was looking at the camera well I wasn't looking at the camera but I was looking at the chat and not really kind of focusing on the audience that's out there with the, the way the I got my I'm using my phone for my camera and I got it off to the side as you can tell so sorry when I'm in a live stream and I'm not uh, talking directly into the camera lens it's kind of you know, I swing side to side. That's just kind of a YouTube thing. But I'm going to try and put it. Do something. Yeah. You know. Somehow. Maybe get it up there. Make a bracket or something. Move the. Move the Chromebook out a little bit. So I can get my little mini mini tripod up in behind it on some sort of bracket I don't know uh, I don't want to ramble on about too much about about a setup I do live streams and if I have to you know this is where Chromebook's gonna set if I have to do any troubleshooting look for codes now browse the YouTube, browse the internet for problems and fixes rather. Fixes rather, not problems, but you know what I mean. Look up uh, how someone else done something. Maybe they done it right, maybe they didn't. But just give me a general direction if I run into a, to a problem. That's what YouTube's for. Alrighty. Let me, uh, let me get this uh, video ended here. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So, with my little Chromebook, I got a carrying case for it. Nothing too fancy. Stuff to put the charger in. Uh, future, maybe getting a mouse. Uh, little notepads, pens. Pencils, uh, spare glasses, or something to put in there. And I've noticed on mine when you go to put in the uh, plug that goes into the Chromebook, it's a little finicky um, as far as not putting it in, but I've seen a couple of videos where you where it's not sometimes it makes a full connection and sometimes it doesn't so you just have to twist it and use the weight that's on the wire that's next to the Chromebook to kind of get it in the right position so it'll stay otherwise if you move it or bump it 
it won't it'll come like unplugged it looks like it's plugged but it come unplugged if you know what I mean so uh, that's the only thing I've noticed so far on my Samsung Chromebook 3 maybe it's a known issue maybe they can fix it maybe they can't we'll see uh, yeah so between my Knipic snap ring pliers and my Chromebook help out with uh, you know live streams troubleshoots and just your basic uh, web browsing and YouTube searching and looking that Chromebook would be fine for me and I get uh, once I can get my camera mounted up and be able to look into the camera and read the chat without you know kind of looking this way kind of uh, not to be all youtubers probably do it you know not to be disconnected with the audience so to speak but it's kind of more you know focus for the audience out there it may look kind of rude sorry it's not rude guys if you see it you think it it's just how we have to have our cameras set up and read chats some of them can use their phones these iPads you know you can just switch it in and out uh, expand the chat window it's gonna help just something to deal with something to do so, so let me stop rambling let's just get this video ended too much rambling sorry guys doing the best I can you know I'm just a guy out here doing my YouTube stuff and trying to get to that thousand subs you know right now I got a contest hashtag top wolf automotive get me to 500 and you get a gift card you know a $200 gift card for uh, you get a chance at it uh, once again liability and legal reasons maybe I got to say it uh, YouTube and YouTube affiliates are not responsible for the gift card giveaway. The cover, I guess, I don't know, I gotta say that. Maybe I don't. I gotta put it in writing. Who knows, but there it is. YouTube is not responsible and their affiliates are not responsible and whoever connected with YouTube is not responsible of giving you the $200 gift card that I'm giving away. Got it? Capiche? Alrighty, let's get out of here. I appreciate your views, your comments, and any suggestions as always. Stay safe out there, guys. Sirens. It's kind of someone with their air compressor. Right, CB? Alrighty. We'll see you.